Okay, I'm really, really excited to bring uh, to you today Ariana Rollins. Um, now, Ariana and I met very, very recently. Um, now, as you probably recall, in some of my past lives and a blog post that I wrote, that I've recently discovered cybernetic transposition mm -hmm. is really a, a way of reprogramming your subconscious so that it aligns with what your conscious wants and needs are. Um, and Ariana has actually been practicing this for nearly 15 years, which is incredible. She's a certified instructor in cybernetic transposition, and uh, she runs all kinds of courses and um, has done lots of wonderful things with it. And I just wanted to ask you, to start with Ariana, is, um, you know, what drew you to it? How did you discover it? And, and what drew you to the cybernetic transposition process? Well, Karen, it's kind of a similar story to you. Um, you wanted to be there for your children, right? You wanted to um, run a business from home so you can be a parent and be able to live your life more fully by working from something you could do anywhere. So I recently went through a divorce. This was way back when, and I had a seven-year-old child, and I was homeschooling at the time, and I wanted to continue to homeschool. And a friend of mine sent me the book, How to Get Lots of Money for Anything Fast. And I'll admit to thinking, what an odd title. And yes. because, you know, I want to build a business and I want to be successful from home. And how is this going to help? Well, little did I know that it would guide me to becoming really clear about what my purpose is, what my mission is. Because as soon as I read the book, I realized that this was profoundly healing, not only to help people achieve their objectives, but to be really connect with who they are at a deep level and to free themselves from the conditioning, the burdens from, it could be childhood, it could be from, you know, their schooling or anything that deeply impacted them where they found themselves adapting to get along rather than aligning with who they truly are so that was perfect for me as you know going through a major change you want to remember well where was i before i was married where was i before i went through this change of you know now i'm a mother and to connect with that powerful part of myself and it really helped a lot so that's how i found CT and then it was about a year into it and I contacted the developer Stuart Lickman and I said Stuart I've got to teach this this is so important I've got to teach this and I must have bugged him for I don't know a year or longer and finally he relented and he created the cybernetic transposition coach training program and he said I I was the cause of it I bugged him so much he finally said yes and then I was part of the first class um, to teach people how to teach others how to do this. Wow, it's fantastic. And I'm actually on one of your courses at the moment, which I'm absolutely loving because mm -hmm. the book um, can be quite complex. Um, I think just seeing it all in text, I, I have got the audio as well, but actually mm -hmm. having someone explain it to you, it makes such a big difference. But something I want to touch on that, that you mentioned, and I think mm -hmm. that a lot of people who are, you know, who, who love the law of attraction and who are, who are very much in that space, they struggle with alignment. I mean, we hear the Abraham Hicks, um, you know, uh, talks and, and they say, you've got to get yourself into alignment. And my biggest question was always, how do I do that? I, I, I need practical steps. I need someone to take me through the process. This is how you become aligned. And, you know, this, this is, this actually does give you those steps would, would you agree with that it does and um, Karen you touched on a really important piece because when I first started learning CT I was one of those students that just was not successful I was not accomplishing my objectives and I remember it wasn't until 2005 where Stuart finally said you know, you're a really good teacher of this, but if you can't accomplish your objectives, I can't certify you. And so that like made me, you know, pull up my socks and say, I'm going to do it. But what it was, Karen, is that I, the objectives I was trying to set were not aligned with my true self. 
And finally, I tweak to that. And so the alignment is so important. So if someone is following law of attraction or following Abraham Hicks, and they're trying to accomplish something, unless they first have that connection with their true self or higher self or soul, whatever someone wants to call it, um, it's not likely they're going to be easily successful. Yes, we can force because we've got a really powerful conscious mind and we can force all sorts of things. But at the end of the day, if it's not aligned with our higher self, then it's not likely going to be fulfilling. So in the highest potential curriculum, that was the first thing that I did when I started to create my own courses is what I call the true self alignment process. And it's what I had to go through to be able to remember who I was, connect to my own inner power and authority. And then when I did that, well, accomplishing my objectives became almost automated. I can't tell you how many times that I would just think something and it would happen. I didn't have to go through all the formal steps of, you know, set your objective and then target it and then do the daily practice and then clear the blockers that come up. It was like, oh my gosh, I just see it, I say it, and it's happening. I'll, I'll share some of those stories of what happened. Absolutely. I'd love to hear that. And I, I think um, probably the title of the book is so misleading. I, I personally think because yeah. Yes, while you can use this to absolutely manifest um, lots of money fast, which is what happened to me, and I'll, I'll touch on that story as well. Um, I, I think, um, really, the title you give it, it, it is far more true to what the book represents, because not many people have heard of cybernetic transposition. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is what we want to get out to the world, isn't it? We want to communicate that there is a way that you can find this alignment to yeah. then manifest whatever you want in your, in, your, in that, um, mm -hmm. whether that be a great relationship, it could be weight loss, it can be, um, you know, anything really. And yeah. as you say, finding your true self is, is part, well, it's, it is the main part of that journey. And then everything else falls into place. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would love to know really what your breakthrough was, you know, uh, with, um, I'll call it CT, cybernetic transposition, it gets a bit of a tongue twister, but what your breakthrough was with CT? Oh my gosh, there's so many. I'll just, I'll highlight two that um, were caused by just thinking it, because I think that's where we all, we all want to get to. With CT, I think of it as like training wheels on the bike. Eventually you let the training wheels go. And whatever technique you use drops away. You've just become it. You think it, you cause it, you create it. So this was way back, and not that far, like four or five years ago. Um, I was going through some changes, stress. We're all under stress right now, probably more now than even five years ago. And I was wondering, hmm, I wonder if meditation would help. And I thought, how does somebody meditate? I don't even know how to start. Then about two or three weeks later, I get an email in my inbox from a local San Diego networking group, women's professional organization. And they're saying they're inviting me to a lunch and say, Deepak Chopra will be our lead speaker. And I thought, hmm, Deepak Chopra, hmm, he lives locally here. I've never met him. A lot of people follow him. What's he like? I want to see him speak. <laughs> so I go to this lunch, and the first thing out of his mouth was, my center, the Deepak Chopra Center in Carlsbad, we are going to be running a research study associated with this university to find out the benefits of meditation. So if you're a woman between the ages of blah, 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 non-smoking, and you've never meditated, or even if you have, you can request to be part of our research group. So long story short, Karen, I got to, I was selected and, and I was, it was a full expense paid um, introduction to meditation and taught by Chopra. Wow. So <laughs> spirit. And I got to go to stay at this, the Omni Result Resort. It was incredible. Just this high-end luxury resort, organic, vegetarian food, a pool, yoga. It was unbelievable. And that was literally, I thought it, how do I meditate? Now, here's the key is I really needed meditation. My higher self said meditation would be good. And now I see the value of it. I've meditated twice a day ever since then. So that's probably the biggest one because it was 
impossible. I mean, I'm going to meet Deepak Chopra. He's going to teach me how to meditate. Yeah, right. Yeah. And one of the most premier, I believe, educators of uh, meditation, I think that's one of the gifts he brought um, the West. He's really phenomenal at it. And a very gentle, like present man. It's just really very kind. Um, that's incredible. Yeah. It really is. And, and I know it's something that, that yeah. we found for ourselves as well, how we found each other, um, that what you're talking about is really a synchronicity, isn't it? It brings all this synchronicity into your life when you are in alignment and when you do start doing these things. And uh, I know I told you the story how a couple of times I got pushed to your website and I just, I just nodded to the universe and I went, right, okay. I, I obviously need to, to do something here. And um, one thing led to another, we actually became in contact and um, that's led us to where we are now. And I think it's absolutely, I've got this, absolute fascination with CT I've been brought to your doorstep you do a wonderful job of teaching it and um, I'm very excited to see you know where this is going to lead for me personally and you know I look forward to a, a relationship with you moving forward definitely there is a simpatico you know there's a there's a connection with you Karen that's why I reached out and let's talk so yeah we are, there is definitely a purpose to our meeting for sure yeah, and that is the wonderful thing. I mean, I'm sure, you know, since you've been doing this, you've probably had so many synchronicities come into your life. It's untrue. And I know this has really started happening a lot for me now. And, um, you know, I, I do put it down to this whole process of just being able to get yourself into alignment. And I mean, to describe the process briefly, it, it kind of to start with, it feels um, maybe a little bit uncomfortable and you're doing things you're not used to doing. Um, you know, uh, like the, the writing it out a hundred times. I mean, that, that actually throws up a lot of blocks, I think, for people because it's just like, mm -hmm. you're serious? I've got to write this out a hundred times. Yeah, yeah. You know? but, but there's something about that and or reading it out, um, you know, that just brings you into, um, it, it, it is part of that process that is, that is your conscious now saying, right, this is, how things are going to happen to your subconscious and, and letting that take over. You can probably describe it better than I can. I don't know if you want to pick up on that at all. Well, one thing I will say, because it, uh, it does cause people to really see how committed they are to their wishes, their dreams, their desires. Because if something is meaningful and they're not willing to write it out or even speak it out, they have to wonder, right? How yeah. important is it? And then the whole purpose of speaking it out and or writing it out is to determine the congruence. Because if there is, and you mentioned subconscious, we're really working with the unconscious, which is where we have stored our whole history, our whole experience while we've been on the planet. Some people say even in utero, you're storing memories. And in the unconscious is where we have um, um, habits, successful habits, you know, like we can walk, we can talk, we can work on the computer, you know, we can add our sums. And then there's some unsuccessful habits, those things that are fearful of change and they want to keep us doing things in the same old way. So when you're writing out your objective or you're, you're reading it out loud, hopefully by this time you're able to start to register some incongruence where you might feel this, ooh, you know, a little bit tightness breathing i can't breathe fully deeply or oh gosh you know there's like this pain in my big toe or oh i just have like this piercing pain in my temple and what those are they're communications from your unconscious what we would say um blocker body feelings and so when you're reading it out or you're writing it out if you're conscious of it and it takes a little while it's not automatic it wasn't for me um you then say, oh, that's a communication from my unconscious. Oh, it's possibly a blocker. And as I said in the course that you started to learn from, Karen, if it's too big, you can just take it out. Yes. Take it out of the story. If you know that particular sentence just triggered that piercing pain and you're not ready to deal with that blocker right now, remove it. Now, when someone wants to do the super achiever, well, then it's likely because it's a very difficult, you know, 10 in, in impossibility, then you're going to need to clear the blocker. But in the beginning, like, why 
force it, just take it out. And so then you're experiencing the successfulness of achieving your objectives and it inspires and motivates. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I noticed uh, with the one I did recently, uh, we call them meta stories, don't we, with the book where you write out your story and it's supposed to be like a movie in your mind of how you, and it's really literally capturing a moment of when you reach that moment of success that, that you're hoping to achieve. You're just capturing that moment, how you feel, um, even to the physical elements of maybe you're feeling a breeze on your face. Um, um, I, I think in mine, I've got a cup of tea in my hand and I can taste the tea and things like that. And um, it just, just to bring it to life. Um, but that's like a memory. You make it into an actual memory, Karen. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And I know part of that is assimilating from a memory that, that already exists. So you can integrate it more easily. You take a previous memory and you say, right, I'm going to change this and make it perfect. And, and, and with the result I'm looking for. And that's if I could jump in. That's the transposition part. So you're transposing a success from one area of your life or a memory from another area of your life. And you're bringing it into what you want to accomplish in the future and with the unconscious mind and if we want to speak like spiritually also there is no real past present future as in distinct separate time elements it is all now which is why ct is so effective is we're dealing with the blocker now and it goes in the past and it rewrites things and goes in the future and rewrites things so that which you want to manifest has already happened. You literally are just waiting the time for it to draw near. And then you say yes, and you accept it. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think the whole process just actually speeds that up, doesn't it? Because it makes it more real for you. And, and like I say, you find that alignment then. Um, I, I certainly look forward to getting to the point where I can just think of something and it, you know, it comes, it manifests for me. So I do look forward to pick up being in that position. How many years do you think that took for you to achieve? Well, because in, in a way, I had to teach myself, you know, because I was not someone who could really learn from a book. And uh, it took me about five years to, to teach myself effectively and then to be able to adequately transfer it and teach others. But I think it's faster now because the last highest potential curriculum, it was the 18th one that I, one that I taught, it concluded at the end of last year, People within two or three weeks were accomplishing impossible things that they had been trying for months and months to happen. And so I think it's sped up now. I don't think it takes that long because I lead with the true self-alignment. So again, if it's right for the person, it will happen. I mean, just one quick story that to me is impossible. I've never heard of this before. It was a, a gentleman who... Um, He's a um, musician and he was producing musical work for other people and they were putting their name and label on it. And one day he just got so clear, I want to do it myself. I want this. And so he quit that job. And so he, he was out of work. Well, within a few weeks of starting the course, he was offered a position with the company he was um working with but he wasn't getting paid and so now all of a sudden he's getting paid and it was pretty good money he loved what he was doing and then about a month into it they decided to promote him and gave him retroactive pay so he was getting paid from day one at that higher salary so it, just impossible things happening to the and i'm just like wow 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 and it was just almost constant during the class that's just one that really stands out. There's so many others that people were just really achieving things that even I was saying, really? That's impossible. I've never heard of that before. Wow. You know? that, that's exciting because I've actually only ever done the basic achiever and I decided I really want to get this process down and I want to do it a few times and have those successes that then I can build on and then I feel confident moving forward. So. Yeah. You know, that's exciting. I look forward to learning more about that as well. Um, and again, you know, Ariana, uh, she's a certified trainer. So if, if you want to know more, we are going to uh, let you into um, a, a little, well, it's not a secret. It's a webinar that you're going to be doing. You're going to be giving loads of free 
content, aren't you, um, about how to remove your blockers. And uh, we'd love to invite you to join the webinar uh, with us. I'll pop the link um, with this video so that you can uh, sign up because I think if, if you listen to any of this here today, you'll realize that you can do it. You can manifest what you want to achieve. I did it, um, I've done it last year um, where I was literally about $14,000 in debt and I, I wrote my basic achiever meta story. I went through the process and within six weeks, um, I was making thousands of dollars online and in a nine week period, I actually made uh, $27,000. Fabulous. <laughs> yeah, Fabulous. My goal was only to make 5,000. <laughs> So um, it kind of dwindled off a little bit since then. So that's why I came back to revisit it because I thought, well, yes. what worked for me last year? And um, I thought, do you know, why haven't I done this again? I need to sit down. And go Blockers, some... we know. Why? Know. <laughs> yes. um, but I know, um, you know, people do hit blockers and... Um, you know, I think a lot of people uh, strive too hard for perfectionism instead of just taking action and, and moving forward and trusting their instincts. And I think this really helps you to um, hone in on your intuition, um, listen to your subconscious. And I, I remember so clearly that everything I did, it just felt like I was, I was aligned, I was in flow, it was effortless. Um, that was my biggest takeaway. And I thought, was, you know, I, I've been struggling for a few months and I've been thinking, oh, I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And it's been too much. It's been a lot of hard work and I, I wore myself out. And then I thought, you know, I've got to, <laughs> this is silly. I've got to go back to what I was doing originally that gave me that success. And this is the process. And, um, you know, I really do encourage you, if, if you are struggling in any way to manifest, you need to hop on this webinar with Ariana. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know if you want to give us a quick overview of what's going to be covered so that we can, uh, you know, so people know what they're signing up for. That would be great. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about what freedom is to you. Some people would say they'd like to be financially free. They'd like to be able to quit their day job and be able to do what they love or maybe they have um, a relationship that they've lost the joy, the passion, the connection, and the trust with one another. And they really want to re-enliven that. Or perhaps they're just fed up. Life is just so hard, and it just seems like having to push everything through. So we're gonna talk about wherever you are in that stage, or something else maybe that you'd like to change. It's really about changing your life and claiming your freedom in that area of your life. We'll talk about these, um, what blockers are, a little bit how they come to be, and I'll give you some tips on how to recognize when they're running, and then also wh whoever joins the webinar live will get a document, a PDF, that normally you only get when you take one of our trainings, and that'll teach you how to be really present and sidestep the negative effects of a blocker which wants to cause you to really freeze or maybe fight, you get triggered, or um, perhaps, you know, to, um, what is it? It's um, uh, flight, freeze, or fight, right? That's it, yeah, those. Because that's really what a blocker is doing. It's a stress trigger point. And it's, it's caused us to actually go into, a level of sleep in a way. We're no longer present to our true self, our inner power and authority. We now are back in time where we're remembering when the teacher called us out on the carpet in the front of the classroom and uh, critiqued us, put us down. And now, you know, we've got tears running down our face or now we're angry and it has nothing to do with what's going on in the present moment. We're backwards in time. So blockers steal our life in a way, and they steal our dreams. So it really is about identifying them, resolving them, and then like you said, I love it, flow. Because when we're not in flow, anytime we're experiencing something that's other than harmony, joy, ease, love, 
we've got a blocker running. And it's so true. So then you think, wow, if then I'm not experiencing, if I'm experiencing joy and love and ease, and I'm flowing with my true self, then life flows. And the blockers don't have influence. They're not making our life difficult. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, why, I, I can't imagine why people wouldn't want to, to come on this. And I think, you know, mm -hmm. the cybernetic transposition, the whole um, thing, it, it's just so, it's just not well known at all. And, and we need to get that message out there. And, and honestly, I invite everyone who watches this video, I'll certainly be posting it on my social media and, and trying to encourage people to join in because this is going to help you so much. I mean, it, Honestly, you know, we talked about effortless, we talked about flow, we've talked about just, you know, being able to tune into your true self, your intuition, and just being guided um, and, and feeling great about what you're doing. You'll be moving in, in a way that feels good to you. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll, you'll start manifesting those things you desire, money, you know, and all the, the wonderful things that brings. And, um, you know, my next one, I'm going to try and I'm going to, well, try, I'm going to make it, you know, so I want to lose some weight and, and uh, have the, you know, health, you know, perfect healthy body, basically. Um, so, you know, this can be applied to anything. And um, I really, really do encourage you to sign up for this webinar. It's going to be fantastic. So, you know, Ariana, is there anything else you want to add before we wrap up? I'd like to ask you a question, because you know, I know oh, that you're, sure. an, um, you're an online marketer. And I know a lot of people, it, when someone can build a business online, it gives them incredible freedom. And that's really what the School of Self-Revolution is all about, is giving people the tools and access to, to be able to free themselves to do what they want. So when you choose to become an affiliate for um, a company, is, does it, is there an influence or how important is it to be passionate about what you're recommending? Yes, it, it's very important that um, what you're recommending is completely congruent with you and aligned. I could not recommend anything that either I wasn't using and that I didn't love myself. You know, uh, for me personally, I could not recommend a product that doesn't work, that, that I don't like. You know, it's, it's got to be something I love, basically. So I think that is absolutely paramount. And uh, whether it's tools that you're using in your business, whether it's a business system you're using, whether, um, you know, it's, it's a, a course that you're promoting um, yes. or a process that, you, that, that, that you've used yourself, um, as I have done, and this is why we've connected, you know, I feel there's a real congruency here for me. Um, I could not personally um, recommend a product that um, didn't resonate with me in some way. So absolutely important. Yes, I think to build that trust, you know, you have to have trust with your audience. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you're bringing people into something and it's not great, then, you know, yeah, so that, that absolutely true. Yes, you do need that. So then what you're saying, you have to be in integrity. Yes, exactly. Yes. And so then some people perhaps who are building businesses online, because I know you're a guide and you build that rapport with your team, that if they're not being successful, it may not be a blocker. It could be that they're not promoting the right thing. Yes. And quite often um, people just don't take action. You know, I mean, I, I have had a lot of members into my team and some have signed up, they've gone with the high ticket, um, you know, offer, and then they've just dropped off and done nothing. And, you know, I'm, I'm actually making my purpose at the moment to reach out and, and say, you know, hey, what's going on? You've spent all this money and you're not doing anything. You know, is there anything I can do to help? And there are obviously blockers there. There's got to be that that's preventing them from taking any kind of action, whether they've got some kind of perfectionism where really we need to move forward without perfectionism because that's really a you know, it's not important. Taking action is, is the most important thing. Some people just procrastinate. And sometimes procrastination is a great thing because I think sometimes you need to take that step back um, mm -hmm. if it's a big project or just to give yourself a bit of space. But sometimes people will just procrastinate for the sake of procrastinating and, and putting mm -hmm. off 
you know, doing whatever they need to do. So, yeah, I, I would say there are some, I, I don't know exactly what people's blockers are, you know, but there's usually a fear, I think, that, that's stopping them from moving forward and having their own success with the businesses. Yeah, so there, it sounds like um, when people take action and the hope comes up that, yes, this, you know, being part of your team and building an online presence and marketing, there's a lot of hope and promise. But between that saying yes and to being successful, there are actions. And that's one of the things with the blocker clearing. It's all about getting into action. So if we are, like you said, procrastinating, hesitating, identify that blocker, resolve it. And with CT, there's about five different blocker resolution methods and it could be one somebody's favorite and they're able to do it and then they're taking action so then when they go to sleep at night they feel good about how they use their day you know look absolutely. what i did look what i accomplished absolutely and then it, then you can just move forward and you can carry on and you know and then if you find another blocker then you just overcome it and and carry on moving forward but i think yes i think people do have a lot of blockers um particularly in this industry um mm -hmm. You know, but, but that obviously it's different for every single person. So I can see it because they're not taking action. Um, and I think we've you've paid, you know, to be at this certain level. And, and so, yeah, it'd be very interesting, actually. And I will certainly be sending this out to my team and mm -hmm. encouraging them to take part. And hopefully it'll, it'll help shift the, whatever the blocks are for them. Well, wow, wonderful. I really enjoyed our, our conversation and our time. And I know this is not going to be the last one. We're going to definitely make connections here. You absolutely, absolutely. I'm excited to see how our relationship grows from this point onwards. And um, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, but guys, get on the webinar. I'll be dropping the link in uh, with the video. And, um, you know, we'll look forward to seeing you there. I'm really excited about it. And um, when is it? It's the 4th of March, isn't it, I believe? Yes, 4th of March, 9.30 Pacific time to about 11. And if you can turn up live, you get that free um, blocker clearing process, which is really easy to do. And I'll walk you through how to do it. That's fantastic. It's 9.30 a.m., I presume. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's because um, we're eight hours forward in the UK. So it's around 5.30 p.m. for us. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, Ariana, thank you so much. I really appreciate you um, coming on. Thank you. I've really enjoyed it, Karen. Let me know how I can help. And I look forward to you being on the webinar. And if you have any questions, I can support you in any way. Please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you.